You are unsafe with a person in your family, and if you doesn't take this sign seriously, you will surely regret your decision later. You are about to go through a significant battle where you will be in need of these words that are coming from the kingdom of God, from where he is watching over you and over your family members. If you hate God, you can leave this video right now, but if you truly love God and believe in his miracles, then stick around and watch this video until the very end. Your family is undergoing a battle that is unseen, and you are receiving these words for a big and significant reason. God is warning you to be careful, not from someone outside of your home or family, but inside of it. A person in your family, younger than you, is planning to act as an entitled family member. This person is planning to steal the rewards, the achievements, the castle you have built so far with your hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. This person is being manipulated by the enemy because you are under a spiritual battle with the devil. This time, the devil is using this family member against you, and you are unsafe with this person within your home and family. This is a spiritual battle, a battle not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. The Bible warns us about this in Ephesians 6 verse 12, which says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The devil is using this family member against you, turning your home, your sanctuary, into a battlefield. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. You angel spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly resonating from the very depths of your being. Father is imploring you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon him, your loving father. Redirecting focus doesn't mean father won't help you against this enemy. Reach out your hand to me. Feel my presence and let your heart swell with joy, for an incredible transformation is on the cusp of blooming in your life. The day you have longed for, the moment of your triumph, is drawing near. Picture this, tears not of sorrow, but of unbridled joy cascading down your cheeks, reflecting the light of a fulfilled heart. Your laughter, a symphony of happiness, will echo through the lives of those around you, bringing forth a celebration of a life reborn. Grasp my hand tightly and let my words flow through you, for I am tirelessly working to sculpt your destiny. I know in this very moment you might feel adrift in a sea of uncertainty, struggling to glimpse the shoreline of grace and blessings. But fear not, prepare your heart, for I am paving your way, showering you with opportunities anew and a gust of blessings so mighty and transformative. Stand firm and embrace these changes. Do not shrink back at the prospect of new beginnings, for within these changes lies your path to a future so bright, so filled with wonder, that it will illuminate the darkest corners of doubt. Trust in me, for I am with you every step of this glorious journey. In the midst of a world where fear grips the hearts of many, you, my beloved daughter, my cherished son, shall stand tall and unshaken as a valiant warrior. Your spirit unbroken, you shall stride in the full light of day under my unwavering shield. And in the stillness of night as you rest, I shall whisper into your heart, unfolding before you grand and splendid truths, secrets reserved for those who fervently love me. Upon you I bestow the gifts of insight, understanding, and wisdom. These treasures will guide your steps, helping you navigate life's winding paths, evading the traps set by adversaries. With my hand guiding you, you shall move forward, shielded from malevolence, immune to the assaults meant to bring you harm. In my all-encompassing hands, I will lift you and transport you to a place of divine grace and blessing. There, you will find a cornucopia of success and abundance burst from my generous provision. My precious child, cling to my words. 
Do not cower before life's tempests. Be assured that I am laboring tirelessly for your good, rejuvenating your spirit, and bolstering your might. Believe with all your heart in the mighty deeds I am about to perform in your life. No shadow can dim the immense love and purpose I hold for you. No obstacle is too great to prevent the fulfillment of my beautiful and abundant promises in your life. Remember, those who place their trust in me soar like eagles. They ascend with confidence, gliding toward the heavens, eyes fixed on the glory above. I will lift you to lofty and majestic realms where you will transcend the spiritual clouds and scale the highest peaks. In this supernatural, divine, and spiritual kingdom, you will be strengthened, endowed with a faith that is unshakable and invincible. This faith will unlock the door to a realm of my gifts and blessings beyond measure. Just believe, hold fast to faith, for you are on the cusp of witnessing these wonders unfold in your life. Understand this, those who trust in me are destined for assured victory. On this day, take these words to heart, embrace this promise, and inscribe it deep within your being. For I am set to perform great and wondrous deeds in your life. Nothing will remain the same, no good thing will you lack. I will cause you to flourish in all areas. Your life will be a testament to overflowing blessings, and through faith you will attain all that you have dreamed and desired, beloved daughter, beloved son. Place your trust in me, for I assure you great blessings are unfolding in your life. These blessings shall not only enrich you, but shall also extend to your siblings, friends, and beyond. Rejoice and ready yourself, for soon doors you thought closed will open wide. The burdens you've carried will be lightened, and your spirit will find new strength. Like a ceaseless river, abundance will flow towards you, and in every part of your life, you'll witness my power and faithfulness. Be ever watchful and steadfast in your trust in me. Today, I endow you with gifts and equip you with spiritual armor so no trial or barrier may hinder your journey. Step into the world boldly, proclaiming your triumph. Embrace the fruits of your blessings with confidence, for I, your Heavenly Father, am the source of all blessings. Dear children, remember, remember I have chosen you to live in abundance and prosperity, to relish all the goodness and beauty I have crafted. Smile, fear not the world or the adversary schemes. Persevere, my daughter, and keep your faith steadfast, my son. Let your heart be brimming with gratitude. Know that the blessings I have promised are approaching. Embrace them with an open heart and arms, and remember, through faith, all is possible. I see the heavy burden on your shoulders and cannot overlook your struggle. You need not battle alone, for I am with you. I am not far, nor am I unmoved by your plight. I am close, ever ready to be your strength and support. I understand the weight of your worries, the sleepless nights, and the tears shed in solitude. Hear me now, you are not alone. Each of your concerns is of profound importance to me. I'm not oblivious, nor do I turn away. I am attentive to every detail of your life. In this moment, it may seem as though all paths are closing and darkness is encroaching, but remember, even in darkness, my light shines brightest. Do not fear. Challenges bring opportunities, adversity fosters growth and strength, my precious child. The plans I have for you exceed your wildest dreams. Trials and tribulations are the forge where I mold your character and reveal your hidden strengths. Though you may feel solitary in your trials, I am beside you at every step. Trust in my provision and guidance. You will discover that even in scarcity, I can open the gates of plenty. In confusion, I will lead you to clarity. Do not let your heart be troubled by the pressing needs of today, for my grace is boundless and more than sufficient for you. My love is unending, and my might can surmount any barrier or hardship. I cherish you deeply, my child, my dear daughter, and I urge you to keep the beacon of hope shining brightly within your heart. Let not the current trials dismay you, nor let discouragement take hold. What may seem like defeat now may indeed be the harbinger of a magnificent triumph. So stand firm against criticism and do not let fear hinder your dreams. Trust in me and in your innate ability to overcome any obstacle. 
You are indeed a conqueror, for he who dwells in you is greater than any force in this world. Know this, my beloved, as you navigate through these challenging times, I am with you, guiding you every step of the way. Remember, I have endowed you with the spirit of strength and surrounded you with steadfast and supportive souls to aid you and share in your journey. Seek comfort in their presence, strengthen each other in faith, and draw from the wellspring of my grace. Believe in me, my child, for they are as my hands and feet in your life, manifesting my pure and tangible love through their actions. I will work, showering grace and blessings upon you, so do not shy away from seeking help when needed, and always turn to me. It is not a sign of failure to need support. You are human, and life in this world will bring its share of struggles and tests. But be assured, by placing your trust in me and clinging to my promises, all shall be well. Remember, everyone faces challenges at some point. Do not forget that my desire for those who trust in me is good, pleasing, and perfect. Thus, I entreat you to have faith in me and trust in my perfect timing. I know you yearn for immediate solutions. In these moments, do not lose heart, for I am acting in your favor, and no harm will come to you. Understand that there are lessons yet to be learned and growth to be attained in this journey. Continue to press forward and never underestimate the power of endurance and patience. My plan is at work in your life, even if it seems hidden from your view. On this day, my treasured child, I call upon you to be valiant and courageous. Do not succumb to despair and do not let the adversary rob you of your dreams. Remember, even after the harshest storm, the sun will shine. Do not give up, my child. Look past your current situation and envisage a brighter future. I assure you it will come to pass. Hold on to your faith and trust that I am uniquely at work in your life. I understand that at this moment you may not fully grasp it, but victory is assured for those who love me and place their trust in me. All things come together for good, beloved child. Know this, my love for you is boundless, more profound than you can ever comprehend. Trust in me wholeheartedly. Do not let the trials of life cast a shadow over my unwavering love for you. I am ever present to dry your tears, heal your hurts, and lead you toward a life rich and fulfilling. In your moments of need, I assure you I will not abandon you. Place your faith in my boundless love and power and watch as I transform every challenge into a pathway to blessings. Surrender your fears, lay down your burdens at my feet, Entrust me with the reins of your life, and I will orchestrate it toward a glorious outcome. Remember, I am a faithful God. I will never leave your side, especially when you need me the most. Find solace in my peace, dear one, and let my encompassing love unfold you in prayer and communion with me. Surrender your fears, lay down your burdens at my feet, entrust me with the reins of your life, and I will orchestrate it toward a glorious outcome. Remember, I am a faithful God. I will never leave your side, especially when you need me the most. Find solace in my peace, dear one, and let my encompassing love unfold you in prayer and communion with me. Find your comfort and hope. Know that in the midst of life's storms, I am your refuge and your unshakable foundation. Rest easy, my child, for I am ever vigilant, guarding you. Fear not the night's terrors or the day's lurking dangers. Let not bad news trouble your heart, nor fear the hidden illnesses. My love and protection accompany you at each step, through joys and sorrows alike, from dawn till dusk. My loving gaze rests upon you, you are never alone on this journey. I will shield you from harm and extend my protection to your loved ones. They are covered by my precious blood, kept safe from danger and harm. My promise to you is unwavering. In joy and sorrow, in triumph and trial, in calm and storm, I am with you, holding your hand. My provision for you is ceaseless, a river of blessings for you and your family. The adversary's attacks shall not reach you, nor will misfortune or lack invade your home. The enemy's schemes will not prevail, for my omnipotence will forever nullify his plans. You are eternally secure in my hands, my beloved child. Tread your path with unwavering faith, and in me you shall find all your soul ever longs for in bountiful measure. 
Cling to my teachings, for they are the beacon that pierces through darkness, making certain your steps never falter. My words are your guiding light, the compass navigating you through unknown realms, unveiling profound truths and ageless principles that lead to tranquility and discernment. Place your trust wholly in me, for I am ever present to cradle your heart and steer your journey. I vow to shield you from all harm, even as you navigate valleys shrouded in shadows and walk paths dimly lit. I am your steadfast protector. Rest easy, do not yield to fear of malevolence that may hover near your abode or body, nor be intimidated by unseen ailments. Remember, in every trial and challenge, I stand with you, bestowing the fortitude and conviction needed to endure. Trust in me, my cherished one. Trust in my promises, for I will affirm your path, allowing you to revel in my peace and grace, blessed in every step. My peace, surpassing all understanding, will flood your being, bringing calm and steadiness even amidst storms. Be assured, dear child, no evil or sickness will touch you, for my angels encircle you, guarding you and your loved ones. My protective embrace surrounds you with unyielding strength, and my hands will support you endlessly. So harbor no fear, for I am your God. Do not dread the night's terror nor the day's adversities. Do not be disturbed by grim news nor shrink from hidden diseases. I watch over you at every moment. Rest in me, beloved son, precious daughter. Trust in my assurances. Let my faithfulness be your refuge in the storm and my love your sanctuary, a shield for your soul. When worries come to besiege you, remember, my love and grace are ample to guide you to a place of solace. Therefore, fear not the obstacles and trials ahead. Ignore the enemy's deceitful whispers that seek to instill fear in your heart. Instead, focus your eyes on me. In me, you'll find the strength to overcome challenges, the wisdom to discern good from evil, and the resolve to stand firm and move forward. Embrace this truth in your heart. You are enveloped in my boundless love, and you never walk alone. In my companionship, no harm can befall you, no adversity can overpower you. Trust deeply in me and behold the unfolding of a reality where all things, without exception, align for your good. Amen. Your endeavors and sacrifices are not unseen. I promise a future resplendent with hope and glory. Remember, the harvest follows the planting and rewards come after effort and sacrifice. So hold fast and do not yield to despair or falter under trials. The fruits of your labor await a testament to your perseverance and sacrifice. Know that your efforts are never in vain. Each choice, each step taken, even amidst difficulty, will be honored and blessed. I acknowledge your courage and steadfastness. The path you tread is not without challenge. It's strewn with trials and obstacles that require courage and resolve. Along this journey, naysayers may emerge, seeking to dim your dreams and aspirations. Yet, let not their words sway you. Do not yield to negative influences that aim to steer you away from the prosperous destiny I have ordained for you, my child. Do not let the limiting beliefs of others cause you to forsake your dreams. Do not let their words dampen your spirit. Stand firm and unwavering. Your efforts and sacrifices are too precious to be cast aside or diminished. Keep the flame of my spirit alive within you and persist in those great aspirations I have seated in your heart. Every effort, every sacrifice will be met with my abundant reward. Do not confine yourself to a life of mediocrity and limitation. Lift your eyes to the heavens, expand your heart's horizons, dream grandly, for I, your God, am infinite in power and might. There are no bounds to what can be achieved through my strength. Your perseverance and dedication will be rewarded in abundance. You are a living testament to my love and power. Live with the certainty that I am ever-present and your potential knows no bounds. Advance, dear child, toward the fulfillment of your highest calling. Though challenges may arise and it feels as if the current is against you, do not succumb to adversity. Remember the times when doors seemed shut, when obstacles appeared insurmountable. I was there, making a way, breaking down barriers. Today, I urge you again, 
Do not give up the fight. Your victory is at hand, and I am with you every step of the way, my cherished one. Immerse yourself anew in my embrace, and I shall endow you with the might of a mighty buffalo. You will possess the fortitude to brave even the most formidable tempests. Remember always, my spirit resides within you, guiding you to traverse uncharted territories and surmount every challenge and hardship. Forge ahead, dear child, do not falter or crumble when the path diverges from your expectations. Progress steadily with an unyielding spirit toward your aspiration. Know that every promise I make serves your highest good. Therefore, battle with unshakable belief and endure through trials. Show your tenacity in each stride you take, even if the fruits of your efforts seem distant now. Trust that your earnest prayers and labor will bear fruit in divine timing, my child. Every stride you've made, every obstacle you've conquered will be honored. Your trials and tribulations have readied you for this very hour, so muster your strength and be valiant, for a resplendent and hopeful future lies before you. Advance with bravery and resolve, for the greatest is yet to unfold. Every hurdle you've overcome is a step closer to realizing your dreams. Do not succumb to fatigue or allow despair to obscure your vision. I am with you, leading the way like a towering giant, smoothing the path you're destined to walk. My love for you is boundless, my child. Remember, every endeavor and sacrifice will be acknowledged, and the choices you make will shape your fate. Thus, do not waver. Stand resolute in faith, act with courage, and strive for your aspirations. Never forget that I am beside you, fortifying you, guiding you, and supporting you as you journey toward the rewards that await. The Father says today, I am bringing the touch of heaven over your physical body. Beloved, at the right hand of my throne, intercession is continually made on your behalf. This includes intercession over your physical body. Your physical body is the tent and the tabernacle that I have ordained. I have purposed by my spirit that I would live in you, would walk in you, and would make myself known in you in a supernatural way. This includes your physical body. There is intercession made for you in the heavens regarding every tissue, every organ, every bone, and ligament of your frame. Are the prayers of heaven answered? Then your health, even this day, springs forth speedily. Health and healing are making themselves known in you and through you expeditiously. This is your portion. This happens as I make myself known in you as your Jehovah Rophi. I have placed my deep on the inside of you. I have caused you to know my voice and sense my spirit when it moves upon you. Even now, my spirit is beginning to move upon your body to mend, strengthen and heal. I am permeating your tissues into the sinews and the fabric of your physical body. Receive the healing warmth and the heat of my hand upon you by the Holy Spirit. Allow yourself by faith to be visited upon by the angels assigned to attend to you. Everything less than absolute human perfection in your physical body is going and total health and strength is coming. Your body will function from this moment on in the perfection that I created it to function. This is the blood-bought provision that is poured out upon you now as heaven's answer to your cry. The Father says today, you have a choice to make between two options. Make a choice to believe for the big, impossible, fantastic thing and we will be in agreement about what happens next. This is not just some empty promise. It is the truth. I am a God of miracles, and there's no hanging around with me, as long as you have, and not be overdue for a miracle. I love to do the impossible. And when you believe in the big, impossible, fantastic thing, all of heaven will be in agreement with you. But what does it mean to believe for the big, impossible, fantastic thing? It means believing for that thing, that dream that is beyond your natural understanding and ability. It means believing what seems impossible to everyone around you. And it means believing for that which will glorify God and bring about his kingdom on earth. The Father says to you this day, believe for it. Believe in the big, impossible, fantastic thing. I am listening and my hand is on the release to send exceedingly abundantly more than you could ask or think. Yes, there will be challenges 
and your faith will be tested. Wonderful! For that is the ground through which you go from glory to glory, and from faith to faith, bringing in due course, a complete manifestation of my goodness beyond your anticipation. You will face challenges and obstacles, but don't give up. Keep believing, keep speaking faith, and keep taking steps of obedience. I am with you. I am for you. I am working behind the scenes to bring your dream to pass. The Father says today, this is your coming out time. I am bringing you out of the house of Nabal and into the house of the king. I am transitioning you out of the house of the fool and into the house of David. The sure mercies of David are your portion this day. Even as David of old showed mercy to Abigail when she was captive in a broken relationship with a foolish man. Even so, I am moving to extinguish the folly of men in your life to bring you to the wisdom of the just. Are you ready to move? Are you ready for a rapid shift? You are now moving with Godspeed acceleration into a new season. All things become new, says the Father. So don't look back. Don't look back to what was, but step into the new, for therein lies your provision. Put your hand on the plow and thrust your faith forward like a plowshare into the fallow ground of your faith. There is acreage in your heart that has lain neglected for many seasons that I am now breaking down the fences and calling you to do some plowing and planting. The foolish man says in his heart, there is a lion in the streets, I cannot go out. But I say unto you, shake yourself out of lethargy and become kingdom conscious where you have been problem conscious. Put your attention upon me, for you are where your attention takes you. Your hope is anchored behind the veil where no account is taken of the Tao averages or the instability of nations. I am promoting you amid the chaos to a new place of freshness and bounty, for that is the portion of all those betrothed to me. The Father says today, don't fear making a mistake, for I am the God that makes even your mistakes to prosper. Refuse to be a careful failure, go ahead and risk, step out. Do something even if you don't know whether you are up to it, for I choose those who are less than, incapable, and prone to failure to show my goodness, my greatness, and my mercy and bring you to breakthrough despite your own feeble and flawed efforts. You've given yourself over to self-improvement and betterment because you forgot that I choose the base things, the weak things, and in polishing your skills and leaning on the arm of flesh, you only succeeded in disqualifying yourself for what I would otherwise do in such a way that only I could get the credit. Yes, it is time for a new approach and a different way of thinking. Lean into me. Lean into my grace and my power to put you over and to create ground under your feet that will bring forth the seed, fruit, and harvest of radical blessing because you dared to obey me amid your shortcomings, lack of understanding, and inability. You might say, too much, God. I don't understand. I can't take it anymore. Fine then, says the Father, you can't take it anymore. We've established that, now what? Why don't you just make a decision and trust me for the outcome? I can deal with anything other than your inability to make a decision. Others won't get it or understand, for they look at you without taking into consideration my miracle working power, my willingness to take the nothing that you bring to the table and cause it to become the full bounty of a table laden down with my goodness and my blessing. Come on, says God, trust me. Step out. Peter stepped out, and I never even planned for him to walk on water. He faltered, and what did I do? Tell him to take swimming lessons. No. I rushed to his aid and encouraged him when everyone else was looking for a flotation device. You don't need listen to me. You don't need man's idea of rescue when I am the one putting you over and bringing abundance, fullness and breakthrough amid the debris rubble and refuse of all those failed attempts that left me out. Though now you have included me by your faith, so get ready for the goodness that I am bring. This very day, the Father says today, I am calling you to action, for my kingdom is something to be participated in and not merely observed. Refusing to be passive for passivity places you in the enemy's clutches. Act, move, shift. I will meet you in the process 
and participate in bringing about a massive breakthrough on a tectonic scale that will change everything in your life that falls short of my promise. Be active in the things I have purposed for your life. I have planted leadings and assignments in your heart, and I want you to pursue them. Don't be idle. I am indeed the one who gives you true rest, but rest is not in activity. In my rest, you receive creative energy to fulfill and finish every project I have commissioned you to do. You have the commission. Now you can commit to it, no matter how hard it may seem. Don't wait till you think you comprehend and understand, for I am not a God of comprehension and understanding from a human standpoint, but a God who gets behind even those things you make mistakes in to bring about stunning and unusual blessings and change in a manner your natural mind cannot anticipate. Remember that I am working with you. Always say to yourself, it is the Father that doeth the work. You will not fail if you keep working and don't look back. Rise up then this very day in the power of my spirit within you. The temptation to withdraw or give up is not from me. Don't live in the past or worry about the future. Live in the present moment. This is where my miracle working power is manifested. Step into the present moment and you will find I waiting for you to do the unusual, the implausible and the astonishing things your heart cries out for. The Father says today, lift your gaze my people, and set your sights on loftier heights. Within the hushed chambers of prayer, I am reclaiming the dominion of kingdoms upon this earth. I shall prevail not through might nor power, but by the indwelling spirit, proclaims the Father. The mountains of influence that tower over the earth and over your life and situation will yield to no force save that which erupts from fervent prayer. Let your lips utter supplications, urges the Father. Open your mouth wide, and I shall fill it with words of power. Let the words that stream from your lips shape the manifestation of heaven's will upon this earth. Undoubtedly, the Father asserts, my hand and my sovereignty are at work, moving with purpose to establish righteousness throughout the earth. I shall be recognized for who I am, not through mere words, but through the unwavering testimonies of those who refuse to be swayed by the deceptive narratives of the earthly perspective. The Father says today that the kingdoms of the earth are in my hand and not the hand of man. Man pulls the voting lever, but I decide the outcome, says the Father. It is in my sovereignty that seasons change and leaders rise and fall. Your portion in looking out at events on the national and world stage is to know that my kingdom rules over all. The deep things and the secret things are mine, says the Father. It is in my hands alone that times and seasons are changed. There is no wisdom among men but that which my spirit imparts, and it is by my sovereignty that one king is removed and another set up. Your mandate in the midst of it all is to anchor yourself to the overarching narrative, proceeding from the throne and not the smoke and mirror deceptions and manipulations of men. It is not by might, says the Father. It is not by power but by my spirit that I am going to do the things in the earth that I am going to do. You will have to decide in the days ahead if you believe this. It is not men's might or power that brings righteousness or godliness on the earth. Let your mouth pray. Let your mouth daily offer up both the morning and the evening sacrifice to me. When all the systems of men have failed, my kingdom still rules over all. Attach your sense of security and peace to who I am on the throne and not any other false security. I am working both to will and to do my good pleasure. I will not be overthrown in my purposes. The heart of the king is in my hand and I will turn it whithersoever I will and you will see righteousness wrought on your land. The father says today that your prayers are heard on high. I will be petitioned you regarding your loved ones and those close to you. As you lay them before the throne and cast these cares upon me, answers will come. Your prayers are as incense offered up as a sweet aroma before the throne. My hand is upon those loved ones. I am going to raise them up. They are destined for greatness in me. I will not allow them to falter, even as I will not allow one of my little ones to fall to the ground without their father. I will not allow one of these little ones to fall to the ground. I will work in their lives by my goodness. 
I will lift them up. I will elevate them. I will speak to them and stir their hearts in the night. I'm going to come to them in dreams. They will hear my voice and know my love for them. I will shield them and surround them with my love and my goodness. Regarding the lives of those close to you, let your mouth pray. As you pray, I will bring divine interruption in their day. There will be moments and experiences that may seem odd and unusual as I send my angels to vanguard them and surround them and begin to woo them, says the Father. To the cross of Christ, look for opportunities to speak and be heard where you have been rebuffed and ignored in times past. See yourself as one who will demonstrate to them my love and the reality of spiritual things. See yourself as one to guide them, to point out and help them see the doors that I am opening to bring them into a deep and real walk with me. As I care for the sparrow, I care for everyone around you that you have concern for. I am working. Continue in prayer and trust and see that I can and I will keep those that you have committed to me against that day. The Father says today, this is not an ending but a beginning. Despair not when loss seems to mark your path, for my hand is yet working to bring the seed that has fallen into the ground and make it bud, blossom and bear fruit in your life. Trust me for what you have planted. Trust me with highest heart's desire, for I am all about greatest dream fulfilled. Make it your determination to hold loosely those things that have occupied your emotions and your sentiments. Make sure your investments are beyond the veil where moth and rust cannot corrupt. Regardless how helpless you may feel, remember this, I am in charge of the times and the seasons. I can change the season of your life in a moment of time. You are not subject to the principalities and powers of darkness, for I have liberated you. I have liberated and empowered you to stretch forth the wings of your faith, so that you may make your way to the high places I have prepared for you. You have asked, what are you doing, God? I say to you, I am marrying the generations. You are standing with one foot on the land of the natural and one foot on the sea of the spiritual. I have planted in you an all-encompassing faith that will bring you out of the darkness of the deep valley and set you on the rocky crags where only eagle saints may go. Mount up in your faith today. Discard the unfruitful works of darkness and every thought and attitude of defeat or despair. Despair is not your portion. Despair is not a garment crafted by my hand. I have given you the garment of praise. The Father says today, come up higher. I am calling you up to a greater maturity than you have known in days past. There is a point of yieldedness in life to my spirit where you look back and take the measure of choices you have made and attitude you have adopted that, in truth, do not reflect my character. Let all such things go. Set aside childishness and self-centered attitudes. Let go of the habits of unbelief and the coping strategies that have entrenched you in failure and disappointment. Walking in my kingdom is not about groveling in an eternal immaturity regarding spiritual things. Others around you may choose not to grow up, but this is not the time to compare yourself to others, for that is not wise. Make it your determination that you will embrace the dealings of my spirit to bring you into the full measure of the stature of Christ. Let it be your aspiration in life to grow up before you grow old. Set aside childish things. Terminate those relationships that only encourage ungodliness and wrong choices. Press in today to the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Elect to live this life on your own recognizance in the kingdom. Hold yourself accountable even though no one else will. There are those around you who should have discipled you and trained you, but they chose another path. What will be your response? Will you languish in childishness or will you square your shoulders and become a soldier of the cross, even though others won't be paying attention or give you credit? My eyes upon the life of that one who chooses to grow up in spiritual things. Let this be your choice, says the Father, and your reward will be swift and sure in this life and in the life to come, a hope eternal. The Father says today, it is my purpose to build a family. It is not my purpose to build a regime of subservient followers. That is for the religious bent. 
I intend to build a family of sons and daughters. I intend to bring all of my children back home. I intend that they return to me. Every infant spirit being sent out from my heart to be born on the earth is a child of my loving intent. My intent is for my family and they return to me. They return to me having chosen my offer of love and accepting my provision of the way back through the cross. There is no memory of the time before birth, no recollection of my tender benediction released over you as you were sent forth, but it was there. My love was there, and my love goes on reaching throughout your lifetime, throughout the generations, calling my family to come home. When you see the lost, who do you see? Do you see the ones I have loved with everlasting love? Do you see ethnos and societies that are vastly different from you? Do you see the religious and tribal peoples outside of your sphere of culture and understanding? Do you say in your heart, well, it is too bad they don't know the truth because they will spend eternity apart from their maker. But you don't really know them, so it is not like it is someone from your own family, right? Or are they part of your own family? The family you don't remember? Who lived in my heart since before the foundations of time. They are all my family and I desire them to return to me. You are all my family and the focus of my everlasting love. It is not my will that any should perish, but that whoever believes in me will have everlasting life and return to the heart of the Father. The Father says today, there is nothing that I would withhold from you that is good, pure and holy. Every good and perfect gift comes from me. Have I not said that no good thing would I withhold from the one who walks upright before me? That means every good thing, every gift from the coffers of heaven is available to you. Pay no mind to the scoffers and mockers who think my goodness toward you is a sugar-coated delusion of fantasy. My goodness is more real and more powerful than the sum total of all the evil in existence. In the ultimate story of good versus evil, there is no contest. My goodness prevails every time. So, go for the goodness. Grab a hold of it like it is pure gold, for it is my desire for you to know and walk in the fullness of the goodness of heaven. Declare this day that my kingdom comes in your life. The fullness of my goodness is incalculable and unmeasurable. I not only have a fullness of goodness, but I have a fullness of the goods. What is it you need, my child? What good thing do you desire? Go for the gold of my goodness, and it will not be denied to you. For whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them, says the Father. The Father says today, walk with me in the cool of the day. Meet with me in the early hours, just before dawn, and just after sunset. I love to spend time with you, beloved. I see the weariness at times you encounter in your day, and I am here to refresh you and restore you. But it involves a decision you must make to come to me, to receive. I will set you forth into your day, and I will settle you in from your day, and bring sweet healing and restoring sleep to you in the still of the night. Receive from me this very hour all that is needed and sufficient to this day. It will be more than enough, child. I am ahead of you, and I am behind you, and I am by your side. There is nothing that takes me by surprise. I will lead you this day beside the still, cool waters that bring a quenching of thirst to your soul. I will lead you into the green pastures and bring a restoring of peace to your heart. In the hours that we share, you will see me and you will hear me as I come to you, whirling on the breezes. There will be clarity in the air and a fragrance of prayer that is sharp and pleasant to us both. Come and join me in the garden where the birds will sing praises, the trees will rustle in harmony, the little fishes will dance in the bubbling brooks, and all things sweet will be shared together. Come away, my beloved, to the garden of life where we will share our love together with pleasant words and sweet songs. In this place, I will remove all of the weariness and all of the troubling concerns from your soul, and great will be your peace in abundance, says the Father. The Father says today, there is a place where you will never be defeated. It is a secret place that you are invited to live and dwell in peace. This secret place is my presence, and it is available to you at all times. When you abide in my presence, you are enveloped in my love, protection, and power. 
No enemy can reach you there. No weapon formed against you will prosper. You are safe and secure in my secret place. I know that the world is a dangerous place. There is trouble and fear everywhere. But I want you to know that you do not have to live in fear. You can come to my secret place and be at peace. In the secret place, you will find rest for your soul. You will find healing for your wounds. You will find guidance for your steps. You will find strength in your battles. I invite you to come to my secret place today. Come and experience my perfect peace. How to enter the secret place? It couldn't be more accessible, beloved. To enter the secret place, simply close your eyes and focus your attention on me. Breathe deeply and relax your body. Imagine that you are entering into a place of peace and tranquility. As you enter the secret place, I will be there to greet you. I will wrap you in my loving arms and let you know that you are safe. In the secret place, you can talk to me about anything. You can tell me your deepest fears and desires. You can ask me for wisdom and guidance. You can simply rest in my presence and enjoy my love. You will be safe from the enemy. You will experience perfect peace. You will find rest for your soul. You will be healed from your wounds. You will receive guidance for your steps. You will find strength for your battles. You will be filled with my love and blessing. Beloved, I invite you to come and live in my secret place today. It is a place of perfect peace and blessing. Come and experience my love for you. Worry, my friend, is a fleeting shadow that can obstruct the radiant path God has laid out for you. It has a sneaky way of stalling the strides you are meant to take in alignment with God's divine plan. But let me tell you something uplifting. The essence of all anxiety is often rooted in our habit of calculating without God's wisdom and grace. Picture your concerns about your children, health, financial future, or cherished dreams as mere threads in the grand tapestry of your life. Instead of dwelling on what-ifs, imagine entrusting these threads to God, the master weaver who crafts beauty from the intricate patterns of our existence. Joseph's life echoes with the resonance of divine intervention in seemingly impossible situations. It's a testament that, no matter the magnitude of your worries, there's always room for God's miraculous touch. Your worries, though they may feel consuming, can be transformed into catalysts for growth and triumph. Think of worry as a gentle stream that, if left unchecked, might carve deep channels in your mind. But fear not. The antidote lies in Christ's perspective. Imagine him whispering, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. This reassurance is not merely words. It's an invitation to cast your anxieties onto the capable shoulders of a loving Father. Consider this, your viewpoint might be limited, but the God you trust is limitless. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for God to showcase His boundless power and unfailing love. Embrace the struggle, for within it lies the transformative journey toward becoming the extraordinary creation God envisions. When confronted with fear and anxiety, make a conscious choice. Will you allow these emotions to immobilize you, or will you rise above, fueled by unwavering faith? Remember, in facing the challenges with resilience and faith, you not only conquer worry, but also pave the way for a life infused with God's grace and purpose. Now it's a time for a profound truth. Dear DNA seekers, I implore you, in the name of the sacred, to honor each sacred word unveiled. Resist the urge to skip, for in this biblical truth lies a sacred covenant between your soul and the divine. Let not a single syllable escape your attention, for this is not merely a call to listen, but an invocation to commune with the divine. The importance of resting in God. Matthew 11, verses 28 to 29, invites us saying, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This profound invitation speaks to the deep rest that comes from being in Christ's presence. A rest that soothes our worries and calms our anxious hearts. The story of Nicodemus, who came to Jesus by night in John 3, reflects a quest for understanding and peace. His conversation with Jesus about being born again reveals a deeper spiritual rest and peace that comes from a renewed relationship with God. Nicodemus's journey encourages us to seek rest in spiritual understanding. 
and in the transformation that comes from knowing Christ. Resting in God doesn't mean inactivity. Rather, it's about finding peace and renewal in His presence. It's about entrusting our worries to Him and allowing His peace to fill our hearts and minds. This rest is found in moments of prayer, worship, and meditation on God's Word, where we allow God to refresh and rejuvenate our spirits. The psalmist in Psalm 23 verse 2 speaks of being led beside still waters, a metaphor for the rest and peace God provides. Just as a shepherd leads his sheep to places of nourishment and rest, God leads us to spiritual places where we can find rest from the anxieties and troubles of life. Implementing practices of rest in our daily routine is crucial. This might look like setting aside dedicated time for prayer and Bible study, engaging in activities that rejuvenate us spiritually, or simply spending quiet time in God's presence, allowing His peace to surround us. And number seven, the role of confession and forgiveness in healing anxiety. James 5 verse 16 advises us, Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. This verse highlights the healing power of confession and the role of forgiveness in alleviating the burdens of our hearts, including anxiety. Hakan's story in Joshua 7 illustrates the consequences of hidden sin and the relief that comes with confession. Hakan's secret sin brought trouble to Israel, but his confession brought an end to the turmoil. This story teaches us the importance of confessing our sins and seeking forgiveness, not only for spiritual health, but for emotional and mental well-being. Confession allows us to bring our struggles into the light, where healing can begin. It's about being honest with ourselves, with God, and sometimes with others about the things that weigh heavily on our hearts, including our anxieties and worries. Forgiveness, both receiving it from God and extending it to others, is crucial in overcoming anxiety. Unresolved guilt and unforgiveness can be significant sources of anxiety. Embracing God's forgiveness and forgiving those who have wronged us can bring immense peace and freedom. In the story of King Saul and David, we see the torment that Saul experienced due to his jealousy and unforgiveness towards David. This story serves as a reminder of the peace and relief that forgiveness can bring to our anxious minds. My dear friends, as we embrace these profound spiritual truths, let us remember that overcoming worry and anxiety is a journey anchored in our relationship with God. Let us open our hearts to the peace that surpasses all understanding. May we carry these lessons in our hearts, applying them in our daily lives, and always remember that in every moment of anxiety, God is with us, His love is unchanging, and His grace is sufficient. As we walk this path, let us hold fast to the assurance that, in Christ, we can truly be anxious for nothing. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are the Prince of Peace, who commands peace in the midst of our storms and wraps our hearts in your perfect calm. You are the Rock of Ages, the Great I Am, and the Lifter of my head. I exalt your name above all else. Your name, O Lord, is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. You are the healer of the brokenhearted, the redeemer of souls, and the restorer of peace. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. I am thankful, Lord, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon me and my loved ones, for the seen and unseen ways you work in our lives. I am grateful for the gift of life. Your goodness surrounds me, and your mercies are new every morning. Thank you for your love your amazing grace, and the joy of your salvation, which is my strength. You have been my present help, and you are my hope for years to come. 
Forgive me for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I seek your mercy for moments when I've allowed fear and doubt to overshadow my faith. Cleanse my heart and renew my spirit. I also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness, breaking the chains of past grievances, and embracing your peace. By the authority given to me in the name of Jesus, I confront the shadows of anxiety, the weight of despair, and the chains of stress that seek to oppress me. I stand against the raging storms of worry and the lies of inadequacy, for I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I declare your peace over my soul and your clarity over any confusion that seeks to cloud my mind. I speak your wholeness into places within me that have been fractured by life's trials. Where there is addiction, let there be freedom. Lord, where there is sickness, disease, pain, or discomfort, let there be healing. And where there is lack, let your abundance overflow. In the name of Jesus, I dismantle the stronghold of uncertainty and clothe myself with confidence in you. Lord, use my life for your glory. I ask for a fresh outpouring of your spirit to revive every dry area within me. Breathe life into dreams that have wilted and restore hope where there have been delay or stagnation. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over the struggles that I face. I rebuke all evil and every attack of the enemy to hold me down or hold me back. In the powerful name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of despair, fear, anxiety, and every power that seeks to steal my joy and derail my destiny. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. In unity, we lift our hands to you, knowing that where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of us. Together, we face our mountains with faith, and we declare that in the name of Jesus, they shall be moved. Lord, we call forth blessings in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. Give us this day our daily bread and all our daily benefits. We declare protection against the attacks of the enemy, and we ask that you place a hedge of safety around us. Be with us in our comings and goings. Lord, guide our steps. In the name of Jesus, we release the grip of inner struggles of worry and anxiety and embrace your peace, which surpasses all understanding. Lord, we take hold of the divine rest and freedom that you offer. As we join together in faith, we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Everlasting Father, we celebrate the victory you have won for us. The victory over every dark thought, over every heavy burden, and over every fear. We are grateful that your goodness and your mercies will follow us. May your Holy Spirit fill us afresh, comfort us, and lead us so that we may walk in your power and live out your purpose. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you, 
It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.